April 2023. As a university student living in Hong Kong, I spent a total of $3,555.03. Oh, that's in Hong Kong dollars, obviously. And this is not my car, unfortunately. But it does take up a small part of my monthly expenses. I'll explain along the way. This video is sponsored by Grammarly. Hi, my name is Kia. I'm a 22 year old university student living in Hong Kong and I'm talking about money related things. Maybe I should look a little bit more professional. And this is a breakdown of how much I spend in a month. And this is my wallet. Flat because Kio broke. First, let's talk about food. Food took up the largest portions of my spendings last month. I spent a total of $2,203.03. Now I admit, two of these meals were a little bit hefty because they were meetup slash reunion meals and we were feeling a little bit bougie. But it only happens once in a blue moon. And again, because I don't have friends. Normally, I would only dine out if I couldn't make it back home because I have my lunch break sandwiched in between two classes. So realistically, I would still spend about $500 to $600 a month dining out. Oh right, I also spent $554.53 on protein powder. All right, so that's where the three cents came from. I try to eat at home most of the time. Yes, I still live with my parents. Nothing to be ashamed of, cultural norms, and when you're living in a city with one of the highest rents in the world, I think it's justified. Which also explains why my spendings are considerably low. My mom is a big advocate of me eating at home instead of eating out. Because of all the MSG, she cooks healthy food for me to eat and I don't care what you say, but mom's cooking are always the best, period. Both physically and financially. And I know all of you are gonna miss your parents cooking once you can't have them anymore. So respect, always. Thanks, mom. Public transport in Hong Kong is pretty cheap, in my opinion. Well, at least for a student, because you have a student discount and you can take the subway for like half the price. Because I'm about to graduate and become jobless, my student discount expires in June. Not that I go out often to begin with, but when I do, I usually take the subway, the metro, the train, whatever you want to call it. Last month, I spent a total of $45 on transport. Wow, that's cheap. Normally, my commute consists of going to school and coming back from school and... April was the final month of my final semester of my final year at university. Wow, that's a mouthful. And I have way too much projects and essays piling up, so I've spent most of my time here, in my happy place. Oh, and speaking of the essay that is giving me anxiety, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Grammarly. I've been using Grammarly since my sophomore year and it has been tremendous help ever since. Not just on essays. No, no, no. Grammarly lets me focus on the quality of my work and does professional proofreading for me and makes my essays and business emails sound way less of a potato. It is like having your own 24-7 personal writing assistant. It is super easy to install across all devices and with finals season coming up and my final finals coming up, I've been using Grammarly's auto citation feature to generate full in-text citations while I'm writing making sure that I'm referencing my work correctly without having to go through the hassle of copying and pasting. And the best part is, this feature is free. If you upgrade to Grammarly Premium, there is even a plagiarism detector to help you scan 16 billion web pages to make sure that your essay is looking extra fresh. Nobody wants their professor to flag them for plagiarizing. Trust me. I'm a professional. You can use my link, grammarly.com slash Kia, and you can sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. I don't really spend a lot on entertainment. I don't go to clubs, I don't party, I don't drink. I have a very minimal social life, which is a nicer way of saying 
I don't have friends. I try to keep this category of spending to a very minimal because I know how easy it is to overspend on impulse purchases, going out for a drink, etc. But I know I'm still human at the end of the day and my entertainment looks something like this. Want to go for a drive? Come on, let's go. This is definitely my type of entertainment. Just going for a drive at night, just cruising. This is insane. Uh, this isn't my car, by the way. I borrowed it from a friend. He's super kind to lend out his own GTR for me to have a drive just because I wanted to make a video. So huge shout out to the owner. I'm sweating right now. This is like a dream. I want to pull. I want to see if I can pull. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. It never gets old. Driving is like my second happy place. It just cools me down, gives me some time to think about myself, listening to music, just kind of chill for the night. It's better than gaming in my opinion. It's a little bit more expensive if you do it like every single day. That's why I do it in a month. So my stress kind of builds up to a month and then when I need to de-stress, I go for a drive and then it goes straight down. So it is like a 400-ish dollar therapy session for me per month. And I always do my due diligence and fuel up the car every time I drive. So last month, I spent a total of $400 on driving. I don't know how to classify the rest of my spending, so I'm just gonna call it miscellaneous. I bought a wireless earphone for my mom for $400, bought a quick release clip for my camera for $200, paid for some official university documents for $100, paid for my phone bills for $108, and bought this exact t-shirt for $99, which comes to a total of $3,555.03. So what is the purpose of me making this video? One, it is a financial reminder for me to look back on. And two, actually, I just thought some of you might be interested. At the end of the month, I would tally them up and input them into an Excel sheet so I can have a bigger picture. My spendings last month is actually higher than my average because without those fancy dinners, gifts and gears, I would spend around $2,000 to $2,500 a month. I have seen quite a few how much I spend videos circulating around YouTube and I see some creators that would spend $100 on coffee per day, maybe for that daily dose of relatability. I don't know about you, but I prefer something called water, water or bottle water mate. You don't need to spend a lot of money on things that you don't need to impress people that you don't like. I think at the end of the day, I try not to be too materialistic and prefer to spend my money on things that are valuable to me. But hey, as long as you're happy, who am I to tell you what to spend your money on? I hope you guys can take something out of this video and have a beautiful, beautiful day wherever you are. And hopefully, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.